New Zealand is more expensive than Australia, but the landscape is amazing. So you want to know how to camp cheap in New Zealand? I tell you how we did it. In New Zealand we were traveling for two months and in this video I will tell you all about transportation, campsites, where to do your grocery shopping and which apps you could use to travel really cheap. So when we talk about transportation, there are several ways to get around in New Zealand. First of all, you can take a bus. There are several companies like Kiwi Experience, Stray. I give you the whole list down in the description. If any company is missing, just post a comment and I will add it to the list. So using a bus is probably one of the cheaper ways to get around New Zealand. But on the other side, if you really want to experience the beauty of New Zealand, if you, for example, see a spot which you really like and you just want to hop off the bus, it's not possible. Most of the bus companies, they just take you from one town to the other and it's not that easy to make stops in between. Then you maybe have to hitchhike, which is also quite a cheap way to get around in New Zealand and we met several people who did it. I think it's a safe way to get around in New Zealand, but I don't want to give you any advice on hitchhiking in this video. It's also possible to buy a car, which is not always that expensive, but on the other hand, maybe your car breaks down and then you have to pay to fix it. You maybe need at least one extra week or two extra weeks to get rid of the car. And if you only have a certain time period to travel around New Zealand, like we had, we only had two months, maybe it's not the best way to do it. There's one more cheaper way to travel around New Zealand and that's for example doing relocation. Which means you're going to relocate a car or a camper van, let's say from maybe Christchurch to Wellington. Sometimes you only pay a little amount of money to get a car. Sometimes they even pay you petrol or they pay you the ferry ticket. But at the end maybe you only have four or five days. So this is not a long time to travel around New Zealand. I think it also takes a lot of time to book the car. You always have to look it up like in which time they need someone to relocate the car from A to B. So for us it wasn't an option as well. So for hiring a car or a camper van, I give you two advice. First of all, don't listen to agencies. We talked to some people from some agencies in Australia and they told us that every car, every camper van, they're going to be booked out and we have to hire them now. And when they told us how much we should pay in advance for such a big amount of money, so I wouldn't book in an agency. I would book it in the internet like we did it at the end and I would compare many, many companies. That's my second advice. So there are companies like Juicy Campers, Escape Campers, but there are also smaller companies with better prices. We, for example, we use Backpacker Sleeper Van and there are many, many more. I give you the whole list of companies I found down in the description or on the website thehowtube.com. Just look it up and I would compare all these companies, compare the time, when you want to go. If you want to travel on a low budget and you need more money for some other countries, do it this way because this is the best way to find the best car for you. And we booked it in January, two weeks before we flew to New Zealand and this is already high season and we still got a discount, an early booking discount. And one last advice, I wouldn't use any navigation device. We didn't use it and in New Zealand it's so easy to get around. You don't need any navigation device. This just costs you extra money. So on the South Island we had a camper van and we were driving around for around 25 days in total and we paid 2,450 New Zealand dollars. On the North Island we had a car and we bought some camping equipment like a tent, a gas cooker, a pot, whatever we needed and we were driving around for 14 days in total. So hiring a car in the North Island was around 650 New Zealand dollars. If you want to know how much you spend in total for campsites, for gasoline, just go on the website thehowtube.com. So let's talk about cheap campsites. First of all, it is illegal to just park somewhere on the street and um, sleep in your car or sleep in your camper van. We talked to people who woke up in the morning and they got a $400 fine on their window. So I would prefer a cheap campsite and there are actually several campsites where you could go to. You can find those expensive campsites where you got a shower, where you got Wi-Fi, where you got a kitchen. But I think if you travel around New Zealand, you don't really need it. So how to find those cheap campsites? First of all, wherever you go, you have to watch out for eyesight. 
iSight is an information center and a free information center and you can find everything like attractions, where you need to go, how much it is. You can book everything you want to do in the iSight and you can also ask them where to camp. So they will give you maps of the town and they will give you maps of the area and they provide you with a lot of information. So when you go to an iSight, you should look for a book like this you see on the picture. This is a book of DOC or Doc Campsites, Department of Conservation. And in this book, you can find all these cheap campsites all around New Zealand. So whenever you drive around, just look at the maps in this book and you will find a campsite close to where you are. The campsites are quite cheap compared to other campsites. So you can pay like $12, $10, sometimes six, or, and sometimes it's for free. They have a nice system, you just go to the campsite many many times, we just drop the money in a box and they will pick it up later. It's possible that you drive like 30 minutes one way and then you arrive at a beautiful lake and there is no one there and you can just camp there, you have your toilet, you have your lake and it's just amazing. So look for the book. And also food is expensive in New Zealand and other stuff you want to buy and you need. So there are several shops where you can go to which are quite cheap compared to other shops. First of all there is Kmart and there is Warehouse. Those two shops are cheap for equipment you need. Like the tent we bought was only 12 to 15 dollars and the gas cooker was quite cheap. If you're going for cheap food, you need to go to Pack and Save. Whenever you see a Pack and Save, just drive there and buy everything you need. Noodles, bread, it's the cheapest in Pack and Save. So this is your number one store. Countdown is more expensive for example, but we got a Countdown Club card, which is really nice because sometimes you get some nice deals with this card. It's for free, just get it. And whenever you need something, use your card. And then there are food stalls. Whenever you see food stalls on the way, you can buy potatoes, carrots, fruits, it's amazing and it's cheaper than in any store. And my last advice is use some apps, apps like Wikicamp New Zealand and Campomade. Those are really good to find cheap campsites as well or free campsites. And Campomade is even amazing to find for example a free shower on the way. You can search for different stuff you need like toilet, shower, laundry and this app will help you for sure. And then of course we use Facebook groups like Backpackers New Zealand or Backpacking New Zealand. There are several groups, just look it up. Here you can post questions you have and you can even sell your car and all your stuff at the end when you're leaving New Zealand. We used it to get rid of our stuff and it's also quite nice to find cheap stuff. If you don't want to go to Kmart and buy a new tent, you maybe can buy all tent in this Facebook group. So if you have all these information, it can be quite cheap to travel around New Zealand. If I could help you, please give me a thumb up. If you want to see all new videos, please press the subscribe button. If you have any other question, just post a comment and I will answer it and you can follow us on all these social media platforms. On this side you can see a video how to pack a backpack if you want to travel for 9 months or maybe a year or maybe 2 years. And if you want to know how to get around Vietnam you can click on this video below. And again if you're interested in the information how we travel around New Zealand and how much we spend just go on our website www.thehowtube.com Thank you for watching and join New Zealand!